Welcome to our short video about installing our deer fence using our fence post systems. You can install our fence over your own existing fence or onto trees or wooden posts, but I'm not going to cover that here. Okay. First, you attach the clamps to the fence post. There is more on that in our post and sleeve video linked below. This is the top of the fence. Notice there is a flat edge, and this is the bottom of the fence with a tie and a tying tool. You can see the fence material has stubs sticking out. These you curve outwards when staking to the ground so the deer get a gentle scratch on the nose if they try to push their nose under the fence. Putting up the fence is easier as a two-person job. One person to hold the fence upright, with the other hooking it onto the clamps yep. and attaching enough ties to keep it stable. These are the ties and a tying tool. To use the ties, okay. you bend them into a U shape, then feeding through the mesh and around the post. Then insert the hook from the tying tool into the holes of the ties and twist until tight. We recommend our PVC coated wire fence ties rather than standard zip ties or cable ties. Okay. We have found the cold dry wind in the Canadian winter degrades the zip ties and makes them brittle after a few years, whereas our wire fence ties last much longer. At okay. least three ties per post are necessary. One at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. Sometimes the fence material will crease or bulge when attaching to the post. This can be easily fixed by removing the tie, by unwinding it, then by repositioning the tie and retying. When the lowest tie is attached to the fence, it will become neat and flat. This is a ground stake. They anchor the fence to the ground and prevent animals from attempting to get under the fence. These are white flags. This step is important for keeping out deer. You install them every 10 to 12 feet because the deer, while trying to find a way into your tasty plants, okay. will see the flags, mistake them for another deer and move towards the next flag. It leads them away from where they are trying to get in, around the fence perimeter and towards an easier meal. This is a tension cable kit. It is necessary when you are using heavy duty fence and posts. It's important to use black cable as the top of the fence because the deer cannot see it well. If it was white, they could see the top of the fence and then would have the confidence to jump over it. The hog ring pliers are used to attach the cable to the top of the fence. Open the locking mechanism, push in, then remove the retainer. Slide the staples in and then replace the retainer. And to use the stapler, make sure the fence material and the tension cable are inside the staple and squeeze the handles together. Here is what it looks like from the reverse side. Come and visit us at Deer Fence Canada. For these and many other products, we will ship right to your door.